Hello, and welcome to the SCP Versus series. A month ago, I ran a poll to see who you'd like to see battle next, and I did the winner last time around. Now, in second place was something I personally kind of wanted to see, so I decided to do it as well, I just was going to do it after the other. The comments I saw were, I would like to see SCP-343 turning 106 human again from Old Man, and 106 versus SCP-343, Death Battle, Can 343 Die? 343 is a god in our dimension, but 106 is a god in his own. Would 343 be able to escape the pocket dimension? No interactions or anything similar to that have been recorded on the wiki that I know of, so you'll have a lot of freedom. Which is probably true, but that's true of every tale. It doesn't matter if it's been done on the wiki or not, really. Like, this version of SCP-343 is my own version of SCP-343. Uh, it should line up mostly with the canonical interpretation in the article, because the article is super short, so it doesn't really matter. Anyway, um, all this got me thinking, and honestly, after I started thinking about it really hardcore, and after I'd mentioned that I was going to do it, I was thinking to myself, how will I approach this? It's very, very difficult to actually do, because SCP-106 doesn't talk, so I've got to figure out a way, the first part, where I'd like to see him turned into human again, that was, I think, the key to making this work. So anyway, this is what I came up with. SCP-343 stood, stone-faced, staring at SCP-106, who probed the pure white room for an exit. Everything that 106 touched turned brown and black and peeled slightly away from his hands and feet. But the room itself was featureless, and it was lit with a glow that didn't really originate from any one point. It was simply bright. SCP-343 stood up as the rotting man tried to reach a hand through the wall again. There's no way out of here right now. You get your little pockets of nothing, and I get mine. The old man looked over at SCP-343 with a lopsided grin that slowly fell. Release. It offered with a dark, raspy voice. Eventually. Don't struggle. This is my home, and I can do whatever I want here. And I've been talking to your fellows. They're all quite interesting. The stuff in containment at this site's just... Most of it's born in places I, I couldn't see, but not you. I know you. You were born out in the open. The shrunken, elderly form of SCP-106 puffed up in an instant and advanced on SCP-343, but every step he took gained him no ground. It was as if he was walking through quicksand. No. Wait. Mud. The room suddenly shifted, and the two were standing in a muddy trench, lined every six feet or so with wooden beams to support the sagging earth to create a space of just four or five feet to stand in. A nearly transparent soldier, with flat, gray eyes, suddenly ran between the two of them, partially passing through both. The sound of gunshots echoed briefly in the distance and then were silent. <laughs> the old man said with a chuckle. Yes, but we really can't discuss this easily if you're going to remain monolexical. SCP-343 snapped his fingers and the old man's blackened skin suddenly began to show life. Underneath it was a young soldier. And then, clothing appeared. Similar in dress to the ghostly soldiers that were now visible all around them. And then, the young soldier that had recently been created suddenly shifted over in a blur to the body of the soldier with the gray eyes that had passed by them earlier, who was now sitting in a lonely corner of the trench. Oh, that is quite a trick, the young man said with a grin to no one in particular. The remaining soldiers paid him little attention, save for a rare glance, filled with scorn. Perhaps they were used to him muttering to himself, or perhaps this was simply a conversation they couldn't hear or see. SCP-343 smirked. They don't like you. No, they don't. People seldom they like things they do not understand. Well, that's why I brought you here. I just want to understand what makes you... Ah, yes, returning me to a simpler time, where men fought for God and country. No, not for me, never for me. This 
an SCP-343 motion to the sky. This is designed by men to extract suffering and turn it into something meaningful. Of course. And it's beautiful. It's hell. Well, you would know. Maybe it's something you'd know as well, right? I mean, you built your own little dimension, based in part on this place. Well, we all return to the same old standards eventually. This place was a refuge for me. Those men see it as a grave, or a punishment. But I came here seeking a home. Something happened? Oh, something always happens. I wasn't born a monster. Perhaps I was. But a different kind. The streets of London rejected me, robbed me of the things I wanted. So I took what I wanted. And I came here, one step ahead of the noose. How many people died before you came here? Oh, dozens. Most have forgotten. Some were a bit more important, but I managed to stay out of the papers. Until, of course, the last one. How was I to know that he was a lord? Pitiful clothing for nobility. But there's no accounting for taste. And you don't regret any of it. Well, tell me. Do you? You're the greatest mass murderer of all time. The young man waved a hand at the trench. All of this is you. Millions march to their deaths. For a war that won't change anything. And in twenty years there'll be another. That's even worse. And all you had to do was step in. Say no more, and these people would live. But you and I both know the truth of the matter. A death is just the beginning of our suffering. SCP-343 looked off into the distance, and then he snapped his fingers again. The trench fell away, and the sky darkened to pitch black. The two of them stood in the middle of a dark room, with the sound of a slow drip echoing constantly. And the only thing they could see was each other. This place is important to you. Is this where it ends? What is this place? Magnificent. Black slime climbed up the young man's body, engulfing him in just a second. SCP-343 reached a hand up to snap when the darkened form reached into his chest. Mine! SCP-343 gulped suddenly as the hand passed through him, and then he began to to choke. He couldn't breathe at all. His hand dropped. His vision went dark. No gods here. SCP-343 collapsed to the ground, and SCP-106 finally released him. SCP-343 went to snap his fingers again, but this time he found them covered in a black ichor. His eyes went wide as SCP-106 loomed over him with an impossibly wide grin. The burning black slime was beginning to melt his back as he crawled backwards to try and get away from the monster. Then he found himself slipping through the floor. He sank into the black tar, slowly, screaming, trying to grab at the edges, but he found no purchase. And then, just as suddenly, he fell out into his own white room, covered in burning black slime, and he could feel the same substance deep in his lungs. He spent the next few minutes coughing it up, while a dark chuckle echoed off the walls. <laughs> and that's that. I don't know if I have any more SCP-343 battles in me. I actually could briefly considered killing him off in this particular tale, but then I figured, nah, maybe I'll do at least one more. Let me know, as a reply to the pinned comment I'm going to make below, who you think should be battled next. And it doesn't have to involve SCP-343. If you've got another idea, go ahead. Just tell me what you would like to see, who you'd like to see, and what kind of battle you want it to be. Any SCP characters or objects will do. I think next time around, I'm probably going to try something a little bit more action-heavy. I'm not sure what. You know what? Just make some suggestions, and I'll look through them. But if you like the content... Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell next to that so you're alerted as soon as the new videos go up. If you want to support the content even more, pledge on Patreon and I'll give you a shout out on the next video that I record, just like I'm going to do here for Morgana Rosebell, who recently pledged at the $5 tier. She's joined all the other people you see on the screen right now in helping me bring you this kind of content. 
Thank you so much. All of you who have subscribed, all of you who have pledged money, it's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I'll see you on Tuesday. <laughs>